During the back-to-school season, about 252,000 children in the United States test positive for COVID-19. As millions of schoolchildren return to school, the United States is experiencing its largest pediatric COVID-19 outbreak to yet, with a record number of youngsters testing positive for the virus every week. According to a newly released weekly report from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association, nearly 252,000 children in the United States have tested positive for COVID-19 in the last week, marking the largest increase in pediatric cases in a week since the pandemic began. More than 5 million children have tested positive for the virus since the outbreak began, with over 750,000 confirmed pediatric cases in the last month alone, according to the organizations, after the country suffered an exponential increase in infections. The weekly total is approximately 300 times greater than it was in June, when there were only 8,400 pediatric cases reported in a week. According to data issued by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the South now accounts for more than half of all new pediatric illnesses. According to federal data, the rate of pediatric hospital admissions per 100,000 people is at one of the highest levels of the pandemic, up 600% since the 4th of July. In addition, the admittance rate is over 308% greater than it was a year before. Just about 2,400 children are hospitalized in the United States due to a confirmed or suspected COVID-19 infection. More children are hospitalized with COVID-19 in Texas than any place else in the U.S., where the governor has abolished mask mandates in schools. Brenna Gurganius, 11, ended up on a ventilator struggling for her life. She was too young to receive a vaccine, and her mother claims she contracted COVID only a few days after returning to her Texas classroom. The two organizations concluded in the paper that severe sickness and death caused by COVID-19 are uncommon among children. However, the AAP and CHA also stated that more research on the pandemic's long-term effects on children is urgently needed, including ways the virus may harm the long-term physical health of infected children, as well as its emotional and mental health effects.